Well, hey guys, welcome back to 42 Pros. And in this video, we're gonna talk about a brand new adapter from Small Rig that gives you two separate left and right channels of audio. Yes, it is a wonderful thing. Been waiting on something like this for a while and I actually been waiting on this product for a handful of months because I saw the pre-production and pre-order uh, notifications come out. October-ish, maybe November-ish of 2020. It's out now and it is a great piece of kit. But before we get into it, just kind of backtrack a little bit on how we used to do it, at least me for you know, the mirrorless, mirrorless camera guy. Since I run mirrorless Sony's, um, I was using a two channel adapter cable from Hosa. Okay, it looks like this. And it would give me a separate left and right channel of audio. So if I had two wireless microphones on two different people, then I can get independent separate channels of audio so I can EQ them and compress, you know, put all the processing uh, pieces together separately. You know, I wouldn't have to worry about uh, trying to keep them speaking the same volumes and all that fun stuff, you know, you know how it works. This cable actually did it for me. And in a practical standpoint, this is about a seven and a half to an eight out of 10. Reason being is this plug is huge. So if you have to have that much space clearance on the side of your camera, it's kind of hard to run some camera rig setups, you know, um, but the other aspect of it is since it is so big, it's pretty thick too. And it actually has an elliptical or oval shape and design. So if you didn't have it in there, just exactly right through use and vibration and all that good stuff, it would wiggle out. And sometimes you would lose one. And even some cases you could lose both channels of audio. And that could be problematic, especially if you're filming somebody and you're doing some tutorials or interviews and it's a lot of talking head stuff, that's bad news. So what I did do is since I run cages, I would put a clamp on it to hold it in place. But do you really wanna have to have a clamp on your audio input in order to secure your audio? No, that should be like a backup plan, not a primary plan, right? <clears throat> so anyways, um, Newer, bigger, better things. Well, not so much bigger, but at least better uh, things have come into play now. And here it is, the good old small rig, model number 2996. Okay, and from them, it is the small rig two-in-one -one bracket for wireless microphones. So uh, yeah, here's the packaging. This is what it looks like. This is how big it is. Has a cold shoe adapter or a cold shoe mount with threads to where you can lock it down in place for the adapter and locking it down on your cold shoe. Has two inputs, one output, and you get some cables with it. So you just have a good old output going to your camera, voila. Now it has two cold shoes mounts. So if you're a Rode Wireless Go kind of guy or girl and a video micro kind of person as well, guy or girl, you're in luck. And here's why, okay? Because it is a small little piece of kit that holds both of these in place and it doesn't add a whole lot of weight to what you're doing when you uh, add this to your cameras, okay? And you can even still lock this guy down. Don't forget to lock down the video micro. Definitely check out that video if you haven't seen it. Good thing is, if this is your setup, you should know that the Rode Video Micro is not a powered microphone. That could be problematic for some adapters, okay? But not this one, because the the this microphone specifically requires a specific signal, power signal, coming from the camera in order to activate the microphone, in order for the microphone to send the other the audio signal back to the camera, okay? That's kind of dumbed down, very, you know, simplistic, but that's the gist of it, okay? And what I have found is this adapter allows the pass-through. Some adapters don't, and that is a good thing for the small rig. So that shows that they've got some good guts in here, some good, good hardware, you know, motherboards or whatever they got in here. It doesn't really change the audio signal quality, okay? I haven't really done any scientific tests, but from my ears, I haven't heard any volume loss or any noise added into the signal that this microphone 
provides, the audio that this one provides. So uh, yeah, I mean, that's kudos to Small Rig. Hopefully they'll keep up their quality control and, and that'll be consistent throughout all of them, which I, I think it should be, but you know, time will tell. So anyways, so that's kind of like a itty bitty running gun setup. Two channel audio setup, so yeah. There you go, beautiful thing. So Matt, what's, what's it come with? Okay, well, glad you asked. We got a box here. Let's open it up. Okay, don't mind the honey badger. He only opens boxes. But inside this little itty bitty package, you have two different bubble wrap sleeves and you get, obviously, a small rig adapter. And in the other one, you get two different audio cables, okay? And this was be specifically for the output, okay? And it's a good thing because if you have one that's kind of going bad on you, you got a backup. But what I have done so far is in most cases when I'm going somewhere, I'm using two cameras. Sometimes I'll use three depending on, you know, the, the type of project, whether it be, you know, huge interviews or event filming or whatever, you know? But in general, I would put one of these in one of my cameras, the other one in my second camera. That way I minimize how many times I'm plugging in and disconnecting this plug into the audio port of my camera. Now, if you're unfamiliar or if you're brand new to mirrorless camera world, especially Sony's, that can be a weak point. I've personally had to repair and have one of my cameras uh, sent off to get fixed because of the heavy use of that port. So now uh, I'll just plug these in, leave them in there all day. But that's pretty much it, guys. So Small Rig has definitely come out uh, with a lot of good products here in the recent days and years. And this is just another one, okay? So it's the Small Rig 2996. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, and obviously, if you do have powered microphones like a, a Video Mic Pro or the Video Mic NTG, with that's what we're actually listening to right now. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this this little uh, quick little video on the brand new uh, small rig adapter. And uh, if you need it, there'll be links in the description below. Some may be affiliated, some may not. If they are affiliated, it'll just be a you know a little extra fee for me. Uh, nothing ginormous, but it would help us out. It helps create more videos, um, but it doesn't have any extra cost to you. So just keep that in mind. If you use them, greatly appreciate it. And I would definitely say thank you, but that's it guys. Till next time, get the gear that's right for you because only you can do your projects. And since we usually only have one chance to get it right, why not do it right and just do it once. Till next time guys, we will see you in the next video.